The remainder of June is said to be characterized by a flurry of diplomacy in the region, starting with Chinese President Xi Jinping's first state visit to North Korea on the 20th and the 21st. Following their meeting in Pyongyang, a U.S.-China summit and a South Korea-China summit will happen on the sidelines of the G20 gathering that's taking place in Osaka, Japan on the 28th and the 29th. Then after the G20 summit wraps up, U.S. President Donald Trump is scheduled to visit Seoul to sit down for talks with his South Korean counterpart Moon Jae-in. So within just 10 days, all of the major players in the North Korean negotiations will be holding one-on-ones one after another. And the 10-day window is expected to provide hints to gauge where the currently stalled denuclearization dialogue is headed. The event that's in the biggest spotlight is this week's North Korea-China summit. The fact that President Xi is visiting the North earlier than predicted ahead of the G20 summit is giving way to speculations that Beijing is trying to use North Korea as a diplomatic card amid escalating tensions with Washington in trade and other political topics. With North Korean leader Kim Jong-un having met with President Xi before or after every important summit with the U.S. or South Korea, there is hope that the fifth Kim Xi meeting could send a signal that the North is ready to return to the negotiating table. Seoul's top diplomat Kang kyung hwa told reporters that enhanced communication between Pyongyang and Beijing would contribute to denuclearization of the peninsula and establishing peace in the region. But there are also those who say by holding a summit with North Korea before the one with the U.S., President Xi might be aiming to show off the traditionally close Pyongyang-Beijing relations to pressure Washington in issues of dispute. So he's visiting Pyongyang not to play the role of a facilitator in the nuclear talks, but rather to remind the U.S. of China's influence over North Korea. But one thing for sure, whatever the case, the message that President Xi and Chairman Kim send out to the world following their meeting this week will have a significant impact on the other upcoming summits in the region. A crucial month for the region, and the South Korean government has pledged to use all diplomatic means during this period to help resume the denuclearization negotiations with the North.